Garen Knight here again, and we are doing another unboxing tonight. You, as you know, I am an avid video game player, so I've decided anytime we do, or anytime I get a collector's edition, or an ultimate or unlimited edition, or whatever you want to call it, I plan to do a quick unboxing. This one should be pretty short and sweet, there's not a whole lot in here, but this is South Park, the Stick of Truth. Of course, the reflective cover makes it really hard, but you can see Cartman inside, and in a moment you will see him outside. So, trusty knife here. Slice her open. So, we of course have basic video game. Of course, for me, it is going to be the Xbox 360. At least for a little while longer until it pays out on this game. And now we have Cartman. Um, I also did get a pre order bonus through GameStop, which is really cool. and. Then I got a set of downloadable outfits for my characters, which give them cool buffs based on whatever their class is. So let's try to get this open without killing myself. Wizard staff. And Cartman. Well, decently hard plastic. Of course, he's got his cool wizard's hat with a smiley star on the top. Uh, wizard staff, which can go in either hand, as, as you may see fit. His head does turn slightly. This is a... I'm not going to say it's a cheap plastic, but it's what you'd expect maybe like a baby's toy to be made of, but a little harder. Um, it does have a little bit of give, but it's definitely... You can throw it across the room and you're not going to break it. You'll probably scuff it. But I think he will be perfectly safe. Um, thus far, I have seen multiple reviews about this game. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm excited to put it in my Xbox as soon as possible. I've been a huge South Park fan for a very long time, and, well, they say that this play is like roughly an 18 hour long episode, and considering some of the controversies already surrounding it with uh, anal probing and abortions, <laughs> which are playable in this game, um, yeah, that's exactly what you'd expect from these foul-mouthed, crazy individuals. So, yeah, I mean, this isn't terribly special. For this and the little couple extras that I get with it, it cost me an extra $20, which isn't terrible compared to some uh, special editions. I'm very happy to add him to my list, or should I say my collection of special edition statues and figures. There's dozens of them in my living room. Maybe eventually I'll have to go through and show them all to you and point them out what games they came from. Oh, oh I forgot the one other thing. We have a supposedly hand-drawn map of South Park done as done by Carpen. That is pretty cool. So let's zoom in here a little bit. We're just kind of pan from side to side. So this is what South Park looks like in their role-playing game. And you can use it as a quick guide while you're playing to know where it is that you're going. So whereas, you know, in the trailers they might refer to someone's house as a particular tavern. It's just some kid's house. So you're not going to know where to go as easily without a map. I'm sure it might actually be just as good in the game, and we'll find out soon enough. but. It's still cool to have such a ridiculous little add-on prop. And it's actually made of really good paper. I mean, it's paper, but this is like almost parchment level paper. And of course, a really crazy picture of Cartman at the bottom. So, yes, I am extremely excited. Let's double check to see if there's anything inside the case here either. I'm pretty certain there's no extra bonuses. I think I've got them all already. Becomes very adept at opening these very quickly. Yep, got a download code for the, which I'm going to hide from you, the Ultimate Fellowship Pack. And this is, you can see that it's a little bit. So those are the different outfits and stuff that you can get: Necromancer, Sorcerer, the Holy Defender, the Rogue, the Ranger, and some added stuff. 
For those of you who don't know, of course, in very South Park fashion, they have four classes. Uh, a wizard, a thief, a, um, a warrior, and a Jew. So, I've been told that the Jew more or less works like a cleric, but regardless, the fact that they call her a Jew is hilarious and amazing. And I look forward to playing that class, just like all the rest. So, yes, this is very cool. I mean, nothing ground shattering, but it's decently well made. And for a figure this size, you know, and the add-ons, the map, the downloadable uh, packs, you know, an extra $20 isn't that much considering how much we pay for downloadable content nowadays. And one of these would probably go for 20 bucks on its own if sold separately. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good deal. And if the game's even half as fun as it looks like it's gonna be, it will actually feel like I'm stealing from them almost because it would be so amazing. So look forward to my review on the website. I will, be, as soon as I get a good ways in the game, I'll let you know what I think. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, if you want to see me do anything, or if you like or dislike it, let me know in the comments below, or give me a like and a share and subscribe. And uh, go check out my website, www.talldarkandgeeky.com. And that's where I do all my written reviews. Uh, just every time I play a new game or anything like that, I put it on there until I can get all the cool stuff to start doing video game reviews for YouTube. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think and see you next time. Hopefully with next week around this time I will be doing my Titanfall Collector's Edition unboxing where we get to pull up the figurine that's this tall. That's going to be amazing. I will see you then. Bye.